Coach, unbelievably big game, Oregon Ohio State, and a great win for the Oregon program. It didn't unfold quite the way you thought it would. Explain that. Yeah, and, and talent equated matchups. That's what it was. Two great right, teams. Right, great right, teams. Right, right. It comes down to some big hits because to consistently drive the ball against Ohio State, not going to happen. The defense, no, top defense in the country. Actually, on big noon kickoff, I said that it was going to come down to the Oregon receivers against the Ohio State secondary. Right. But I didn't think Oregon had favorable matchups. And that means there's two ways to beat man coverage. One's matchup. Go in the backyard and your guy's better than that guy. Right. Throw the ball to right. him. If not, you have to help them with rubs and picks. And I really thought we are going to see, because Oregon does that, they do rubs and picks. You know what they did? They went after them downfield. And the Oregon receivers, a bold statement, might be the best group in the country right now as far as uh, execution and making plays. Well, let's look at some of the explosive plays. All right, Jerry, one of the first big plays. I want to point out the scoreboard here. The two of us watched this live together. Right. Ohio State's up by eight points. But you kind of felt that they were moving the ball, they took the crowd out of the game, and Oregon needed a game-changing play, and that's exactly what they got. And what did they do? They did exactly what I thought they wouldn't do. They went after right, right. vertically downfield. So take a look at Evan Stewart up top, and against great corners at times, you'll double cut. A double cut is called two moves. And in this particular look, it's a stutter and go. So focus on the receiver up top. He drives off the ball. What's he do? He drops his hips, makes it look like he's running a curl or an out cut. And our man, Dylan Gabriel, drops a freaking dime on him. Look at this pass. Wow. This is a 70-yard change of field position. Great technique with the hips, though, dropping oh, the hips. I mean, yeah. That is well Now watch the ball. The ball yeah. is right in stride. Yeah. Yep. Big games are about game-changing moments. That was one. All right, Jerry, here we go. Here's a second game-changing play that I picked by a wide receiver. It's third down to nine right before half. And again, you kind of felt Ohio State was starting to pull away. What did Oregon need? They needed a game-changing moment, and they did. All right, it's third down and nine, and receiver up top, Tez Johnson, one of their best players on the team. They have a little switch release, and instead of doing a double cut, they just go right over right. the top. So third down and nine, you would expect Oregon to do what? Run crossing routes, like I said they probably would do because they showed that on film, and Ohio State is playing zero hole. Right. So I want the viewer to watch this. They're only really rushing two defenders. And what are they doing? They're dropping people underneath. Why? Expecting because of the crossing routes. Right. right. So Tez Johnson here, man, he's a, a hell of a player, and this is a great throw. I mean, Dylan Gabriel. This is by far his best game. Best game. This, this is why he went and why they recruited him for, for these type of plays to put him in a national championship hunt. Coach, I don't know about you. I'm, I'm shaking just looking at this screen. It's a scoreboard. So I'm, I'm sweating right here watching this. Fourth down and one. Oregon's down by six in the biggest game of the year. And I'll tell you what, the Oregon coaching staff dialed up a heck of a play, and there's a lot to unpack with this play. All right, fourth down and one. And any time it's fourth and one, it's not a surprise. They're in man coverage. They're going to stop sure. what? Stop the run. And so Oregon, the best thing to do in a fourth and one situation, if you have the courage to throw the ball, which is a pretty courageous call, is you want to try to do this. And what I mean by that, you're trying to blind the linebackers or the second-level players because they have run responsibility and they have pass coverage responsibility. If you do this, you take the rise off your defender for a split right. second and guys get open. So how do you do that? You do shifts in motion. So let's go back. What's your shift? The shift is when you start in a formation and shift and get set. That's exactly what they're doing. What they're trying to do is get Terrence Ferguson open, number three. And between the linebackers or second level of the defense, they have man coverage on anyone coming out of the backfield. Perfect execution by Oregon on a fourth down and short. Wow. Let's take a look at the end zone copy. Watch the eyes and, and the stripes of their helmets, I used to say. When, you guy, when, when Oregon sends a player in motion, everyone's pointing at him. He's drawing attention. Remember, that the objective was try to cloud the vision right. of the linebackers. That's exactly what happens here. They lose number three for a second, extremely well executed, but this is really hard on a defense. Coach Dylan Gabriel's best game by far, yeah. passing the ball, but he also ran it for a big play. You no, know, we used to have a saying that when I needed you the most, you gave us your very right. best. Dylan Gabriel, look at this moment again, 22. They're down by six. It's in the fourth quarter, and it's third down and two. When I needed you the most, you gave us your very best. Here they run just a really, it's a simple day one install right, read play, right. Q read play. 
They catch Ohio State man coverage. The defensive end closes. He's reading them. And here, just great effort. Makes a safety miss. This is a game-changing moment, the fourth of which we just watched. I'll tell you what, Jerry. Dylan Gabriel, the way he performed, I'm not a voter. He got himself a seat at the Heisman Trophy uh, Awards. I'm not saying he won it, but he'll be there after the performance he just had. I'm a voter, and I'm going to consider him.